Hi, welcome down to the root cellar and a discussion of this very nice pistol and a problem we had in getting the lead out. It's a wonderful handgun. It's the P226 Sig Sauer in 357 Sig. Shot it some yesterday. Wonderful. Feels great. Shoots good. And for the most part, I was shooting jacketed rounds like this, which is, this particular one is a Winchester factory round. We shot five of those because they're too expensive to shoot. Mostly what I shot was reloads, hand loads, including this interesting little round using a 105 grain cast bullet. This is a bullet that was cast in a Lee mold, 105 grains using wheel weights and um, size down. And the question was how, how well would it work in this gun in terms of leading? And uh, <clears throat> the answer was not unexpected. It, it, it put some lead in there because we were shooting it at around 1,450 feet per second. And <clears throat> actually, 1,472, that was the average velocity. And that's just a bit much for a little um, cast bullet with no, no gas checks. So I thought it would be a good chance to show you how to get the lead out. Last night, I took the pistol apart and saturated the barrel with croil, the creeping oil, microscopic particles that supposedly will get under the lead and in between the lead and the barrel and help to loosen it up. Does it work? I don't know. But it's not a lot of trouble and it couldn't hurt. Well, the handiest thing in the world is the Lewis lead remover. And it's a little kit, and basically you get these items. You get this handle, which has a T-handle useful for pulling, as you'll see. You pull it through. comes with a couple of uh, tools for uh, cleaning, the, um, cleaning the bore and some wire little brass mesh screens. Let's see, you can see it better. Here, here's the little mesh screen, which you can see. Comes with a perforation. These tips uh, have rubber as a part, and then a threaded center portion and an adjustment nut. And they come in a couple of sizes. This particular one is for 38 9 millimeter family of cartridges. And the purpose of the screw is that you, you can turn it in which will compress the rubber and enlarge or, or create a tighter fit in the bore but um, and so we'll just tighten it a little bit it also comes with a, a little tool that can be useful in removing the thing from um, uh, from the rod you can use this as a, a wrench to turn it to remove it from the rod later on but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to show you that in action in just a second. Well, here's how it works. You put the brass patch onto the threaded end, like so, and then just sort of fold it back a little bit. You don't have to do much because it's going to take care of that for you once it gets started. And then you place the the pulling tool through the barrel because you want to always do this from the muzzle in. It's a lot easier uh, with a, with a, an automatic where you've got the barrel out free, but it works. It's not hard to do with a with a revolver. Uh, the trick is just to kind of place it up in there and spin the rod, but uh, that's for another video. I'll show you that later. But today we're just going to see about getting some lead out of this 357 SIG. So here we got the thing threaded in place and you're ready to go. So what happens? Well, we pull it. Let's see if I do it with this hand, maybe you can see it a little better. 
and it's gonna be hard. I think I got that little rubber thing too tight. Okay. It's still too tight. Hey, nobody said this was gonna be easy. All right, now it's loose. It takes a lot of work to get the lead out of one of these things. All right, here it goes. And I'm doing this left-handed. Ah, very good. Okay, what do we have here? We have lead. See it? All around the perimeter of this thing, we have lead. Nice little chunks and flakes of lead. And when we look into the, to the barrel, let's see if I can get this up here for you to see. If you look down in the barrel, mm, it's just fogging up the lens. Oh, there we go. Okay, you see there's a great deal of lead uh, that's been loosened. And it's it's uh, it looks it looks like just a dirty, dirty barrel down in there. Well, that's what we're going to be trying to get out. <clears throat> you remove the thing, and like I said, this little tool is handy. If it was extremely tight, you could use it to to uh, pull it out with. Sometimes, depending on the direction of the rifling, it can thread back in. I look at my finger here with the lid that came off when I touched it. Too much coffee this morning, huh? Okay, you have to take it off each time. Let me just tap it for now. You, you can clean it better as you go. I may need to lubricate the barrel, but we'll try it dry because that's just fine. Okay, try this left-handed thing. See if I can knock over something else with it. Okay. It's easier that time. And I think we got some more lead. Let's look down into the barrel, see what we can see. Yeah, not not as much uh, of the roughness showing. You see a lot of lead around the muzzle. But uh, that's just loose and will come right out. So what, we've made two passes through here. Try it again. Usually a few passes will take care of it. I'm gonna do this so you can see, maybe. You can see it's getting easier to pull through, which means I probably need to tighten, tighten the rubber uh, piece down, but I can definitely feel some bits of lead coming out. That may be just about clean, but I'm gonna tighten it up. Do that. I'll use this little knurled nut and give it about a half a turn. And that expands it more than you would more than you would think. I'll keep blocking your view. I know. All right, that's going to be harder. Not too bad. Okay. No, I still see. I still see. Traces of lead down in the in the bore, but um, it's getting pretty clean. I'll just do a few more until it's thoroughly clean. We'll probably edit here. <clears throat> Shazam! So much lead there anymore. Let's look back down the barrel. It's looking pretty, pretty shiny. Okay, so we've made uh, three or four more passes through there. Let's just take a patch and see if we can run a dry patch 
through the barrel. I feel some. You can usually feel a kind of a crunch. Uh, yeah, there's some. There's a little. I don't know if it'll show or not. Uh, I think that's some right in that black spot there. Kind of hard to see. <laughs> Try it from this direction. Oops. Working backwards, backwards in the interest of better cinematography. Yeah. yeah, it looks like looks like the beginning of a James Bond movie now. It's uh, it's pretty clean. In fact, it's, <laughs> yeah, I think it's sparkling. Pull it in a little bit and see down into the barrel. What am I getting back there in the way of reflections? Let's try something. Try something a little darker. There we go. Oops. Looks pretty clean to me. Okay, time out. In the interest of full disclosure, we went back and made five more passes, mentioned earlier, for a total of ten or nine or whatever it is, and the barrel is really clean now. The Lewis lead remover. You should, you should, if you shoot lead bullets, you really ought to have one of these. This is the 44, 45. Uh, attachment same same sort of thing you can see it's it's done yeoman duty on my long colt and magnums shoot a lot of cast bullets shoot them at high velocities don't worry about it just take five minutes and clean the barrel and there you go thanks for watching that <laughs>